Imagine for a second that you're a manufacturing business and are planning to extend your factory. You will likely have to have a large number of professionals and trades, including architects, builders, engineers, original equipment manufacturers, etc., working on your project to make your vision a reality. But do you know the risks associated with every element of the work? Do you know how to manage those risks? And should you be held liable if one of those contractors has an accident? Of course not. However, under normal health and safety law, you have a responsibility to ensure the health, safety and welfare of everyone on your side. That's where the Construction Design and Management Regulations, or CDM, come in. The CDM regulations affect all construction and engineering projects and define duties to different parties on the project to take responsibility away from the client and ensure that hazards on the project are managed by people who have the correct knowledge and experience. The company who has commissioned the project takes on the responsibility of the client. Their main duty is to appoint a competent principal designer and principal contractor to the project and make sure they fulfil their duties for the duration of the project. The principal designer is responsible for managing all the designers on the project and has a duty to identify any foreseeable issue before the project starts. This will include ensuring the finished structure is structurally safe and is designed in such a way that it does not cause any safety or compliance issues once the finished project is handed back to the client. The principal designer will also identify any hazards such as locations of hidden services such as gas, electric and water, as well as locations of any asbestos so they are not disturbed when construction starts. The principal designer provide all this information in the form of a pre-construction phase plan to the principal contractor who will take charge during the construction phase of the project. During the construction phase, the principal contractor will take on the responsibility to ensure the health, safety and welfare of everyone on site. The principal contractor will ensure each party meet their legal obligations and complete their functions throughout the construction phase and will have to do this by producing a construction phase plan, vetting of contractors prior to them starting work, checking RAMs, equipment and the competency records of the workers before the contractor company are allowed to start work, provide an induction to the CDM area for all workers, monitoring of health and safety of everyone on site through inspections and audits, provide welfare facilities and ensure the site is secure, as well as maintaining contact with the principal designer to ensure their plans are adhered to and that any variations that affect the safety of the finished project are properly managed. By assigning duties and responsibilities for health and safety to people who know how to manage the risk, CDM helps us ensure projects are run safely. This is obviously a whistle-stop tour of the key points of CDM and there's quite a bit more to CDM than we've covered in this video. However, at iSafe we have years of experience helping clients, principal designers, principal contractors and every other duty holder fulfil their requirements under CDM and we provide a range of services to help you meet those requirements. So take a look at our services in the links below and feel free to give us a call. But for now, stay safe out there.